<laughs> this is exciting. Yes. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> just like. So the lemonade event is a challenge. It's our last challenge. Um, essentially, Hunter Straker has partnered up with Ivy, and so they're launching this event where we're supposed to take on a twist or a constraint, and we're supposed to sell lemonade all across London, and it's in support of the United Way charity for uh, London Middlesex. Okay, where do you want to sit? Boys, where should we sit? <laughs> Front row center. Where do you want to go? Front row Woo! Center. Okay. Pretty close to the front. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go, go that way. So at the auditorium, we got to listen to Matthew Diamond speak to us. He's from Hunter Straker. Um, it was really inspiring. He told us about all the work that he does. And so from then onwards, the event was launched, and we got to go pick up our twist or constraint. I think we're there. Sections five to eight. Oh, you got it. Oh, team sixty-six. Okay. Well, um, we also have to go to the other. Team. Okay. So. Number 40, Canada Goose has inspired you. You are now the premium price brand of lemonade beverage and can only sell your drink for $5 or more. And so then afterwards, we decided to plan a little bit, come up with a good strategy to see what would be the best way to take on our, our challenge. And so ours was the premium lemonade challenge. So we had to sell each glass for at least $5. So last year we sold 108,080 okay, so groups, so our target's 1350. Okay, hold on. So 80 groups, that's 1350 so per group, but... So at a $5 lemonade, that means we actually have to sell about 270, which is our okay. target. So we want to try, so try and sell So at $5 a cup, and that, that like, becomes... That how much like, people could be donating way more than $5. That's, yeah. also, oh. that, that's also assuming a $5 profit. We want to... Start by hitting the location of Wortley. We mm -hmm. looked at the target market and we figured students don't have the money, so yeah. we're going to go away from our network and we're going to actually just try and target foot traffic. There's mm -hmm. a lot of local businesses. It seems like we'll be able to get the most of the people to come and actually purchase the yeah. So then, in, in, in that, on that topic, then we should there. think of like a product that's premium and per like perhaps like offer something that's a little bit more high end rather than just like a low cost, yeah. typical lemonade. So before we break, we still have to uh, delegate some tasks. Exactly. Uh, so the first one is um, if we are going to film a video, we need to get that done uh, tonight while the first lemonade day is going on. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to make a flyer still. Uh, we need to get all the ingredients, which we'll make a list about. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to get the instruments ready. We need uh, the cars to get there, and we need to uh, make the our stand. Lemonade stand. So after that, we decided to go get our go get our stuff and start right away at um, Wortley Village, which was our first choice of location. Oh, thank you. Would you like some premium lemonade? Yes. Here you go. Um, Worley was going pretty well so far, so uh, at Worley we were able to find some premium customers, however the traffic was a little low. Or and you know what, the thing is, we have right now, I think the tactic is, we've gone for a low volume seemingly area with a higher capture rate. I think tomorrow if we shift our strategy a little bit, because it's given to have a lower capture rate with $5, right? So if we move to somewhere with a little bit more volume, our lower capture rate won't be as much of a problem. We've revised our strategy right now and we're actually thinking of new locations maybe to branch off to tomorrow during the day, maybe to find somewhere where there would be more traffic during the day, but for now we're just gonna wait it out and see if we can get some people who are coming in for the night time. <laughs> you, you are the people we, are, we want. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. United Way. See the change? Oh, yeah. United Way. So now we've relocated to Costco and we actually were able to start a partnership with um, Costco and the Ivy Business School which was pretty cool so they're letting us sell right here. I was going to say we got 150 yesterday and that was three hours and now it's been about an hour and a half and we're already doubling it. Yeah. So, so good, I mean I guess a, we, were, we were hoping that the high traffic strategy shift going Would away work. from low and it seems to be working. I yeah. mean, we just, we've been really marketing the charity side of things and the donations as was kind of outlined in our partnership with Costco, but it's exciting that it's actually working right now. 
I like the whole lo uh, high volume, low capture rate. I think that that's a really good uh, strategy. Like eight hours more to sell. Yeah. Let's do it. Ready? So for students, this means that Ivy is giving us an opportunity to be able to give back to the community and actually apply some of the skills that we learned in class out onto the field. I think it's a really valuable experience because we've actually been able to employ different things that we've been able to pick up through HBA1 so far and actually put it to good use. So we're going to start off by introducing the constraint and then afterwards are we going to start by talking maybe about our strategy or how we went about it? Yes, yeah, we're going to do strategy and then we're going to get into like more of the marketing side. So okay. Like we're going to talk about our target market and uh, specifically our product, like what's in the ingredients, um, okay. things like that. So I'd say the experience so far has been very eye-opening. It allows us to go outside of Western's campus and actually be able to interact with people um, in London. They really seem to appreciate what we're doing, so it's a really rewarding experience so far. <laughs> okay, does anyone know where we're handing it in? Uh, yeah, there's a table in the other hall. Section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so here's our seed capital. This is the bank draft. Yeah. That's it? Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, this has been a wonderful section to be in. And I told you this before, and I, and I just want to repeat it. The comment that I make to all my faculty of college throughout the school, and they ask me how Section 7 is I said, you know, it's a really nice group of people. Hello, everyone. I think I speak for our whole group when I say this is one of the wildest experiences we've had in HBA1. It was so crazy, they could have made a great reality TV show about it. <laughs> <laughs> And so as a premium lemonade stand, we wanted to make sure people were interested in our product and we had time to make our pitch. So uh, we were able to raise uh, $710, 125 of this was due to the online sales. In my head, I was being cautiously optimistic to think, what if we could top 70000 to reach a quarter of a million dollars? Well, what, what these students have achieved for their community, uh, the community of London and Middlesex, is really remarkable. Each year it seems that Ivy raises the bar, and you know, there's a couple ways I look at it always. There's certainly the just sheer amount that they are doing for the community in United Way. And the number today that was raised, just like last year and the previous years, it's a big number. But I also equally value the point of the course, and as a former student, really relate to that, learning through action. And I think the experience that these students just had is something I guarantee you they will never, ever forget. So after a really long year and a stream of events, I, I think that after so many different group reports and 48s, that this was definitely a unique experience. The opportunity for us to be able to actually put our business skills into use and to be able to collect so much money, I think is an invaluable experience that everyone will take home with them today. And I think it's a great way to wrap up the year. We got to interact with so many people and raise so much money for a good cause. And I really think that this is something that will definitely add to the toolbox of all the different skills that we've acquired this year.